This method can help answer key questions in the biology field, such as activity of enzymes at different locations within tissues. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows the researcher to detect enzymatic activity directly in the tissue samples. To begin this procedure, remove the mouse's hair with an animal hair trimmer. Make an incision on the skin of the back using scissors. Then, lift the skin up and cut it away. Next, fill the cryomold with freezing reagent compound. Using needle-nosed forceps, place the skin sections into the filled cryomold. Orient the skin sections so that the cross-section of the skin from the epidermis to the dermis, hypodermis and muscle is visible. If possible, mount the experimental and control mice together in the same cryomold so they can be sectioned onto the same slide and processed together. Take care not to create bubbles. Place the cryomold on the flat surface of a block of dry ice in an ice bucket. For storage, transfer the cryomold into a negative 80 degrees Celsius freezer. Samples can be maintained in the freezer for approximately three months without significant loss of enzymatic activity. For sectioning, using a cryostat set at negative 20 degrees Celsius, Slice the tissue to create 7 to 10 micrometer thick sections for the best skin morphology. In this procedure, establish the set of slides to be tested.